Hello everyone, I'm Big Carl, and today I'm going to be showing you five methods to play Minecraft on your Quest 3 VR headset. So, let's get started with the video. Here first on our list is probably the lesser known one, and that's playing Minecraft Bedrock in VR. Now if you own a copy of Minecraft for Windows 10 or Bedrock Edition from the Microsoft Store, it's quite possible to be able to enter VR as long as you use the built-in Link app from your Quest and the MetaQuest Link app on your PC. It does not work with Steam VR, so keep that in mind, it's very finicky with the Quest. And unfortunately with me, it wasn't the greatest experience because there's no wired internet in my room. So I had to resort to using wireless internet, which wasn't the most stable experience. So keep in mind, if you're playing this version or this port, it's probably best that you use wired AirLink for this, as the AirLink app is not the greatest, or virtual desktop. But in order to be able to enter Minecraft Bedrock Edition in VR, all you have to do is create a shortcut. Unfortunately, this version of the game will be discontinued here very shortly next month or well this March upcoming. As a recording is February it will be gone by the end of next month. So keep that in mind if you plan on playing this version of the game it's very limited. However luckily this does work on the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock and you will be able to enter multiplayer and be able to play with friends. Nobody will know you're playing in VR and unfortunately keyboards in this version do not work at all. Keep in mind there is also full hand tracking and full full depth and full moving around. The only issue is your left hand does not have tracking at all. But overall it's a pretty serviceable experience, it's not the most stable. Certain things like keyboards don't work, they don't pop up at all. So if you want to type something on a sign or create a world or maybe go in creative mode in VR, unfortunately it seems like you have to type on your physical keyboard or if your app happens to have a built-in keyboard for your link. So keep that in mind if you're going to play on this port. For our second and last way to play Minecraft in VR on PC would be Vivecraft. Now Vivecraft is a mod for Minecraft Java Edition, which is by far the best version of Minecraft you can play. And this mod for Minecraft Java Edition is by far the best method and the best way to play Minecraft in VR. It has full body, head tracking, and arm tracking. And anybody who even doesn't have the VR mod is able to see your VR movements as long as they load the jar file into their Forge game. The thing to note though is with all the support, there is a little bit of mods they may break, especially with the heads up display that's now on your arm. However, for the most part, this is the most stable experience. You may need a beefy computer depending on how you play the game and there's full shader support. Now a lot of people are going to absolutely hate me for putting this option here, but you can always play the big screen or Steam Link flat screen version of this game. Just stream the normal version to your headset, just grab a controller, and as long as there's controller support, you're good to go. It's a lot like playing the official Minecraft VR versions in the, when you're outside the immersive mode, but hey, it works. It might be a cheap option, but hey, it works, you know? If it works, it works. This isn't necessarily my favorite option, but this is the one that most people will talk about when playing Minecraft VR Edition and Quest 3 or Quest 2 standalone, and that's Quest Craft from the SideQuest store. 
Now Quizcraft is based off of Vivecraft, but instead of using Forge, it uses Fabric, which I'm already not a huge fan of, but it has its own optimizations just for the quest. It's not going to run the best, and you're definitely going to need to turn down the graphics to the lowest settings, but it is playable, multiplayer works, people would still see you flailing your arms around, and you can load mods. I wouldn't say you can load shaders because that's it's not going to run very well. And it will work with whatever mods are made for fabric. So, yeah, it's a pretty decent option. It's exactly the same as Vivecraft. Controls are the exact same. Tracking is the exact same. Keyboard's the exact same. Unfortunately, the lowest version you can go to is 1.18.2, which is a shame, but hey, it's that or the newest versions of the game. It doesn't look like you can have any other versions, but at least it's a way to play the game. If you want to play it that way, you can totally play it that way. Now here's an option I never hear anybody talking about, and that's playing the Gear VR version of Minecraft on the Quest. Now this port isn't one to one perfect, it may be a little bit weird and a little bit to get used to as it's originally made for your VR which was the Samsung phone VR headset and was meant to be used with an Xbox controller and you look around with your head. So the controls aren't perfect but it does work and it's a pretty serviceable port and I've went through the process of messing with the config files and everything to make the game perfect for the quest. Now I wasn't able to fix everything and unfortunately it seems someone may need to modify the APK to fix things such as keyboards which much like the Bedrock PCVR official port it doesn't seem to work very well on the Quest as the keyboard does not pop up at all. So you can't make any signs, you can't name any worlds you create unless you physically go over to the files and mess with it. And in order to break blocks you can't use your arm like the PCVR version of a bedrock by moving themselves. Unfortunately in this port you're gonna have to get used to looking around and using the look in order to break blocks instead of with your arm. So there's no tracking at all except for your body and your head. Other than that it's a pretty decent port. It's a little bit outdated. It stops around the never update but if you want an experience that's halfway decent there you go. And it's got shader support. It runs super well in the quest. Unfortunately, because it's an older version, you won't be able to do multiplayer, but potentially you can do local multiplayer with someone else of a quest. So I'd look into that. Maybe use something like Xlink Kai. Anyways, I hope this was very helpful, especially this last option. In order to enter immersive mode, to enter full VR mode, all you need to do is use the two grip buttons and you can get straight into the game. I will also note that you cannot dash in immersive mode. But as I said, I hope this is very helpful, especially this last option. If Questcraft does not do it for you, Questcraft quite frequently crashes on me, especially if I try to create a world so I'm hoping this is a good option for most players like me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll be showing some gameplay here of game running on my quest. However, if you want to see the full gameplay footage, I will probably upload that on the second video. Thanks for watching and enjoy.